Hello, everybody, and welcome to my first GOT7 solo album reaction. I'm terrified. Uh, Young Jay, my crush, my, my current crush, okay, uh, just released his mini album, Sugar. We have five songs on this album, okay? So we're going to start with Sugar, the first track with the music video, of course, and then we're going to do Focus, Crema, Nothing, and With You. I have no idea what this man's going to sound like in his solos. I don't know what his, you know, first mini album sounded like. I don't know nothing, okay? But I know he has an amazing voice and I know I'm probably going to love it. Let's get into it. And if you're just finding my channel, please subscribe to me down below. You can follow me on Twitter for updates and other stuff. Please comment down below so I can chat with you guys and join the Discord. That all came out in a mumble. I apologize. Whew, let me get it together. Okay. Young J, sugar. He looks great with brown hair. Hello, you are so handsome. What the fuck did you do last night? <laughs> Such a dark intro. All right. Hi. Let's go. Hey, go, you could go, you could. That's what I like. That's what I like. Now I got to know that I'm driving me crazy. crazy. <laughs> I'm such a fool. I'm such a fool. No, I'm gonna not. Take a moment to keep it by the road. It's all. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna take a minute. There's Leah looking gorgeous. Just saying. I saw the article that she was in the music video and I was like, ah, she looks beautiful. Sorry. Continue. What taste of what? Like, why does he have to look like that? He sound like that. Ah, you're fucking hot. God damn. You what? <laughs> this man. Ah. Oh. When he put the black suit on, though, he, he ain't playing anymore. Uh. Oh, he looks so good. I, like, he sounds good, and the song is really good. All I can say is good, because if I don't, I'm going to say something that's inappropriate. <laughs> it's fine. I might be in love, but it's fine. Do it. Oh, look at him, buddy. <laughs> the power he holds right now. Look at him. Look at him. Not care in the world. The disrespect. Wow. Oh, I love this spinning shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I can't with him. Look how good his waist looks in that outfit. It's okay 
looks just flat. It's just the, the shirt into the pants. It's flat. So nice. Clean. Oh. Slow it down, slow it down. That's just showing off. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leah's so cute. For those that don't know, like Leah Huning, Huning Kai from TXT's sister. Uh, she was also had she was a previous idol. She had a TikTok account. For those that don't know, I realized like halfway through that you might not know who I'm talking about. It's this girl right here with the bangs. She's adorable. She's the older sister of the Huning trio. Love her. She looks amazing. And I'm glad that she got to do this. Like I'm glad that she got to be a dancer and because she, she was dancing in the last shot on the right, I think. And then she also got to act and just be a part of it. It's very cool. Stop, someone has to stop styling his hair like that. Ooh, oh, oh, put it on. Okay, here's the only thing. I, this is the last pause, I promise, because we're almost done. The only thing I can be glad about, about this video, he doesn't smile that much in it. Because the smile it makes me literally weak in my knees. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Like, I'm just intimidated right now by him. But I'm down bad when he smiles. They all poisoned you and then what? And then they just like pretended they were passed out when you woke up? I'll be honest, I missed whatever the fuck just happened in that video. But it's very pretty. <laughs> it's a very pretty video. I definitely do not want to know what happened with him and that woman. There was a lot going on. I would have to rewatch it and like really pay attention to everything going on in the music video. It's a lot when you're like reacting and you're trying to think of things to say and like how to express what you're what you're feeling and thinking while you're trying to listen to a song for the first time while you're dealing with visuals of the person that you stand and plus the little nuances going on in the video. Like I could sit here forever trying to figure out what happened and pointing out all the little things and visually it was just very pleasing because it reminded me of like The Great Gatsby, which awful book. Don't come for me, but awful book. Perfect movie. Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm, that movie is so good. <laughs> um, anyways, let's get into the rest of the album. This is looking good. This is feeling good. Uh, next is Focus. I just briefly opened him singing it live. And he just looks so natural. He's so good. Oh, this is, this is an issue. This is an issue. Ah, uh, all right. Let's just say, officially, Young Jay could potentially be a bias racker. Him and Jin Young can just sit at the same table, okay? There's something about him. There's something about him. There's something about him. Oh, this feels so familiar. Mm. That intro, the chorus, felt a little familiar to me. A beat that people, sorry, it's a beat that people use pretty often, like a, like a melody that people use often. Um, 
but the way that it just like instantly slows down, ugh. Yo. Yeah, yeah. That was so fast. In different headphones. I love his voice. I love the energy of the song and the album, like the vibe. Both of them fit together, and I imagine it's going to be one of those albums where you're kind of going through it and it has a similar theme, which I like. I am so glad I paused right before that. Are you fucking kidding me? What is that falsetto? No. Oh. He has so much soul when he says it. Causing it because in the best way I don't think the songs are that similar at all um they have like a similar they have a similar flow and like style but not the tempo the tempo is not the same at all um to Beckyun's candy it's giving me Beckyun's candy and it's, that's not good <laughs> that's not good for me to have that connection right now to this man um but it's the thing I love about Beckyun's albums are the flow of the songs throughout the album, his voice, the beat, the maturity of it. And that's what I'm feeling in these two songs already. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I, the same thing I get from my like God7's album that I checked out is that they all just feel very mature. They feel like very, they feel like they're structured to be a flowing pop song or flowing r&b song or whatever the case is rather than adding the k-pop bullshit no offense to k-pop songs obviously because i fucking love them but the k-pop bullshit the dramatics and all of that they don't seem to do that and i i adore it i adore it, it focus, like it's just a good song repetitive in the best way I'm gonna talk about it. Wow, okay, I like that change up for the last course. Ah. I might like oh god. I was gonna say I might like it better than sugar, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I like them the same. 
Okay, up next is Crema. You know what I'm thinking, but let's get into it. A jazzy, jazzy gentleman's club vibe. Take off, check a photo book at the Oh, I love how he pronounces that or enunciates that. Relaxing. It's like very breathy, very desperate. It makes me want to dance with somebody. Who, who, who told him to rap? Who told him that that was a good idea? Because it fucking is. Fucking is. Ugh. The, the little rap flow with a lower register. I might be once again down bad for an album for for music. Nice touch. That one's my favorite one. <laughs> that one is my favorite one so far, I think. Ah. I know I'm not saying things about these songs. Like, I'm not like, here's why I like it. It's just right up my alley. It's just right up my fucking alley. Okay. Next is nothing. Okay. Nothing. Let's get into it. Ooh. Everything's nothing we find without you. 
go I like the flow of this. I like the change up between the chorus and the, the verse. Right on this, like his own lyrics for this album. Same thing that we did in the last song cutting out for that last like kind of outro course cutting out all the instruments except for the strings now we have just the piano and i really like the effect that it has on these songs Ooh. you can like so look forward to that last build up I am very much enjoying this. I know it's not going to be everyone's style. Everyone that's probably watching this <laughs> probably likes it. Um, but like these are, it's a very specific genre, very specific vibe to the music. Um, so I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea, but this is literally what I crave in so many things that I sometimes miss um, because of the different groups that I stand being younger or inactive <laughs> or whatever the case is they're trying different things and now i have th this which is like something I, I love and i have got seven doing it i have the soloist to check out and it's all things i think are right up my alley they haven't really disappointed me yet not one of them um with you is the last song which i'm not ready for so i'm trying to delay but i cannot uh, is this going to be a ballad? Very big OST vibe. I told you my life. And musical. Oh, 
Wow, it's really pretty. like an opera like it feels like he's performing this big solo in a musical something huge has just happened and this is essentially his monologue Uh, his ad lib like that's the thing about that I've noticed kind of in the got seven songs that I've listened to as well as throughout this album he doesn't hit high notes that often like he doesn't hit like high notes as I expect them like big loud belts I don't hear that often um like I do for a lot of other groups that are just just doing that and vocals are my favorite thing and I love belting and high notes I don't hear it often and I don't need to because I think the structure of the song does not require it. But when it, oh, when they add that, it's beautiful. I just love hearing the notes go, the flow of it. That was an amazing album. Just saying, that was an amazing album. I didn't know what to expect from his sound. I still don't know if this is a reflection on what he has done before, but it's kind of like now, even I would say like by the second song, I was like, I get it. I think I get his vibe. I think I love it. I think I want to live in it. I would just want to live inside a house full of Young Jay's vibe. <laughs> if that if that's the thing I can do, sign me the fuck up. Move it in right now. Okay. Uh, I just I loved it. I loved it. And these types of albums, and it's so funny because I've had I've reacted to these types of albums with similar sounding songs, similar genre. It's kind of more low key. I never know what to say, but yet I don't shut up. So I apologize for my rambling. It's literally what I do. Welcome to Renari's Rambling. If you haven't been here before, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on my first GOT7 soloist album reaction, Young Jay's album. Um, amazing, fantastic. His voice, the instrumental, everything about it was really great. I loved the production. I loved the vibe of it. The whole thing was awesome. Let me know what you thought. I'm going to go watch the music video for Sugar again and see everything I missed because I am stupid and I am tired. And I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you guys soon. Have a lovely day. <laughs> that was a very aggressive intro. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.